Hi, everyone. It's Diane Yetter again, your sales tax nerd here for another episode of our Women to Watch in Sales Tax. And today I'm thrilled to be talking to an old friend, Nina Oberts from the Gable Tax Group, where she is the founder and CEO, and they are based out in Pasadena. So Dina, welcome. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me today. Sure. So Dina, why don't you tell us a little bit about what Gable Tax Group does and what your role is there? Yeah, well, thank you. Well, at Gable Tax Group, we help businesses increase profit through proper sales tax compliance. So we um, are responsible for filing sales tax returns for businesses, and we do registrations, nexus reviews, pretty much anything sales tax related, audit defense. So we are a multi-state we're multi-state sales tax gurus. I know you guys are the multi-state sales tax nerds. So, <laughs> um, and uh, so, yeah, we are helping business owners uh, make sure that they are not paying the sales tax out of their pocket because they were caught off guard by all of the changes. And is there something that you've accomplished over your career in sales tax that you're most proud of? The thing that I'm most proud of is helping professionals reach their fullest potential in the sales tax world. You know, helping these professionals be as efficient as they can at compliance is really what I'm most proud of. Compliance can be very tedious. Um, it could take a lot of time if you're not really process oriented. So I think in the sales tax field, I'm really proud that we have developed a process over the 30 years of seeing thousands and thousands of uh, other industries and how they do sales tax. And we've come up with a really good system to be really efficient and accurate and provide value to our clients. And to be honest, my staff love it. So they love sales tax. So somehow I've convinced them <laughs> um, through our process and just investing in, in them um, to love sales tax. I think that's what I'm really most proud of. Mm -hmm. What advice do you give women working in sales tax in particular? The advice for women working in sales tax is first of all, if you love it, right? You have to love this. Mm -hmm. You have to love sales tax and you have a great attitude and you're willing to help others that you will do well. Now you, yes, you have to be technical and, um, you know, you have to be really efficient with how you do your work. Cause if you're not doing work well and it's not profitable and timely, it's not do you're not going to have a really good job. But I think if you can just build relationships and provide excellent service and not be competitive. You know, um, a lot of us can be really defensive about our job security. Mm -hmm. And I think that's just even harder with women because, you know, we already have other challenges in the workplace sometimes mm -hmm. um, that just try to be your real authentic, caring self. And if you're not teaching somebody else how to do what you do, you're not going to grow. I think a lot of people think I'm going to hoard it and do it myself. And no one knows that's not how you grow actually. Yeah really isn't. And there are going to be people out there that are going to do things that aren't, you know, steal your job or whatever. But I would say the best advice for women is if you truly love what you do, have a good attitude, willing to help master it, master your trade, and then just be as efficient as possible. Be willing to learn technology, be willing to do the best you can and get it done as quick as you can, because that's how you're going to prove your value. Thank you so much for joining us today. I really appreciate it. And uh, best of luck as you continue to grow your firm. Well, thank you, Diane. It was a pleasure being on your show today. Thank you.